has anyone ever taught you that energy matters, folks? More often than not, no. But the thing is, is it does. Because a lot of times when I'm, when I'm working with people in my trainings or just in consulting, I ask groups to give me 10 characteristics of an outstanding team member, an outstanding employee, somebody that you want to be right next to you, working hard, serving the clients, serving your guests, whoever it is, your patients, to be able to do that. Give me 10 characteristics of somebody that you would absolutely love to work next to. Give me, shout them out, shout them out. Thank you. <laughs> Give somebody a high five, say he's brilliant. <laughs> Go ahead, give him a high five, say he's brilliant. Man, where'd you come up with that stuff? <laughs> so besides positive energy, this isn't a test, folks. You can't go back to what I just said for the last 10 minutes. Go, what did he say? What did he say? Seriously, who would you like to work with? What are the characteristics? Shout them out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, like unison. That was really good. So over here, happy. Thank you. What else? Smiling. Smiling. What was this one over here? Friendly. Friendly. What was another one? Good attitude. Good attitude. What else? Hard worker. Hard worker. What else? Time. 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 Oh. Sure, you guys start shouting fast, you're going, can he do it, can he do it? I don't think he can do it. <laughs> I know I'm in a good energy group. All right, three, six, all right, what was it? There was somebody else? Dependable. Dependable, oh, I got that one. It just may not look like it's spelled that way, but it's there. <laughs> and, and what I like to do, for those of you that facilitate and stuff, what I like to do is just put a few letters down here in the corner, and if I misspell something, just take one of those and put it up there. <laughs> That's positive energy, right? All right, so I got, I got positive energy, happy, smiling, friendly, uh, good attitude, friendly, dependable, hardworking. Oh, give me two other ones, two other ones. Honest. Motivated. And what was the other one? Honest. Honest. And I heard caring as well, right? Give yourselves a round of applause, folks. Okay, that's an awesome level three round of applause. Now let's do a level 10 round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause. Folks, did you see her? She goes, whoa! That's what I'm talking about. Energy is everything. Because seriously, folks, in our life, many times I'm out there and I say, okay, give yourselves a round of applause, and people are like... <laughs> How many times are we going to have to do this tonight? <laughs> right? But then I go, give, give more energy, and everybody's like, whoa! Doesn't it feel good to do that? Trust me on that, folks. You'll reduce your stress in life by just, just giving some energy every once in a while, by celebrating some things. And I'll talk more about that tonight. But these 10 things are actually 11 because you're overachievers. Well done. All right? So now, my question to you, you just said this is an outstanding team member, employee, person that you'd like to work with. Now, I ask you, are these uh, driven mostly by attitude or are they skills? Okay? And then as we go through them, there may be some that are both. Okay, and I'm open to a discussion with that. Um, yeah, let's do this. Positive energy, is that attitude or skill? Attitude. Happy. Attitude. Smiling. Attitude. Friendly. Attitude. Good attitude. Attitude. <laughs> that would be an attitude. <laughs> I, we're a smart group, Tina, smart group. Hard working. Oh. Let me ask you this, let me ask you this. Do all of you know how to work hard? Do all of you work hard? <laughs> hmm, something to think about. And my emphasis to that, I'm not, I'm not looking to talk you out of skill on this, folks, but in all seriousness, more often than not, people know how to work hard. It's whether or not they choose with their attitude on whether to work hard. So are you open to, to, to being both? Yes. yes, give somebody a high five, say it's both. It's Thank you, energy. All right, dependable. So now you're all going to go both all these on me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, friendly. Attitude. Motivated. Attitude. Honest. Attitude. Caring. Attitude. Anyone seen a pattern? Attitude. What's the pattern? Attitude. The pattern is attitude. 
We're talking about an awesome employee, somebody who'd love to work with you. The message to this, folks, and I do this with executives from Medtronic to Famous Dave's to other people that I work with, no matter what this list is, over 90%. What percent, please? 90. Over 90. Thank you, over. <laughs> over 90% is attitude. Okay? Now, let me ask you this. In our education system, in our training programs, what does 99.9% .9 of our budget go to? Developing attitude or developing skills? Does that make sense to anybody right now? <laughs> Think about that. And then people are like, I got to go back to school. I got to get more skills. I got to do it. Yes, do that. But you know what? What's going to turn out for you to have an awesome career is your attitude. Folks, when it comes to people losing their jobs, do more often than not people lose jobs because of their skills or their attitude? Attitude. Do people in relationships, do they have more challenge with relationships based off of their attitude or their skills? Attitude, right? Oh! I can't. Give yourselves a round of applause. Um, I can honestly say I've asked that question a lot and I've never had that response. <laughs> so thank you once again, Tina, for bringing me to a unique group. <laughs> That's awesome. That was, that was, <laughs> woo! And, and all the guys in the room were like, yeah. That's right. <laughs> that was awesome. So good work on the attitude side. <laughs> so, so my message beyond that, okay, let that go. Let it go. Let it go. Uh, <laughs> that definitely adds energy to my speaking, too, so thank you for that. Um, on the attitude side, though, folks, in all seriousness, it's about your attitude. It's a develop and what I call attitude is energy. What's the word, please? Energy. Because energy is, is a lot more than just your attitude. Energy is, is, is when, when problems happen, are you somebody that comes with solutions? Are you somebody that says, hey, we got to get this person, this person together, and let's solve this and let's move on? Are you somebody that, that when changes happen, because are you guys going through some changes right now? Yeah. Just a wee bit? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So you have to be adaptable. You have to be flexible. What kind of energy are you bringing to that? Because you can be in the one camp that just whines and complains, right? But does that create a great culture and great happiness and great motivators for everybody else around you? No. That doesn't mean it's not hard. It is. But I guarantee you, when you stand strong with people that also stand strong with you with great attitudes and know that those changes are going to keep happening. You guys work in an industry that changes quite often. Anybody with me there? Yay! Right? I mean, that's part of it. So why waste energy whining about it? Worrying about it? Folks, research shows that 95%, what percent please? of the things we worry about on a daily basis never happen. <laughs> Does anybody else go, that's a waste of energy? <laughs> Seriously, 95% of the things you worry about never happen. Think of those things. Folks, your life, your career, your family deserves your energy. And the only way you can give that is, is to, to, to reduce some of that worrying that you're doing. And if you need support in your life financially, get people on your team financially that can help you. If you need help relationships, get people in your life that can help you on relationships. If you need help with your life about parenting, get people in your life that can help you. Put the time and energy in to be able to do that. But don't just grow the skills. Grow the attitude side just as much.